Hello folks, a very good morning, good afternoon, good evening to whom I have been watching a different sort of time period. I literally welcome you all to this another video session. So probably, you know, uh, we'll be having a discussion on what what actually Azure Sentinel is and uh, what are those different sort of interview questions that is basically been uh, asked in the interview whenever you are appearing uh, for any kind of uh, security professional jobs. Uh, okay, so you if, if you have mentioned Azure Sentinel as one of of your skill i mean technical skill then uh, make sure that you get an aware or get get an awareness that you will definitely been bombarded with number of questions okay uh, you know uh, with 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 uh, this uh, with this and all stuffs and what actually that is or how actually that is been implementing so these all stuffs you will be having uh, in details and uh, these all questions will be having a discussion on that so before proceeding or before saying or before having a session i just make sure that you do a subscription to this channel and uh, get the latest update regarding any kind of cyber affairs on interview question that is been asked so coming to uh, basics right so basics of azure sentinel is so what what foremost question that is basically been asked is what actually azure sentinel is and how actually you can answer with a brief description so basically azure sentinel is a cloud based native sim solution sim and source solution also we can say right so in a very layman's language if i start saying right so it's it's azure sentinel is a microsoft a cloud native sim solution and source solution to in combination with both the things okay that is basically been designed uh, with a certain algorithm with a certain procedure with a certain architecture okay where uh, where, where 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 intelligent security analyst or three detection and response across all an organization entire enterprise that's how actually we can define a azure sentinel second number question that is basically been asked is that so how does azure sentinel differ from traditional sim solutions how actually it is different see so as we know it is a cloud native okay so azure sentinel is what it is a cloud native okay so which 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 basically offers a scalable and uh, flexible log analytics and because it uses what it uses ai and ml okay uh, we can even say artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms okay for a better insights into driving the security postures and uh, seamlessly the integration with other uh, microsoft services also it provides okay so architecture and development what actually the architecture development posture is all about so when it comes for architecture and development right so can you explain that is basically been asked right uh, how, how we can say can you explain the architecture of azure sentinel it has been asked right so see azure sentinel uh, includes what connectors again i repeat azure sentinel includes connectors okay for data injections okay we can say because see log analytics workspace okay for 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 storage and analysis okay so it has what log analytics workspace for storage and analysis and uh, here you can see what and a user interface for 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 managing incident and also we can say investigations okay so this is how actually uh azure sentinel has been used or we can say the explanation of how actually azure sentinel or architecture of azure sentinel basically works with then after how is data <coughs> how is what how is data injected uh, into azure sentinel see uh, data is injected through what data is injected through connectors because see that 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 basically collects and uh, forward the logs from various uh, sources because what it happens is that it it includes uh, azure services and on premise environment okay on premise environment because uh, what what actually it does is that so it it actually has a uh, because see if 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 the user start interfacing and uh, managing the incident right we 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 must and should have to learn the architecture first unless and until uh, we do not have uh, sufficient knowledge on how actually the architecture works it is basically been difficult uh, to learn and to articulate how actually uh, the exact uh, azure sentinel works with an architectural environment then uh, second number question that is basically been asked is that how is data injected into azure sentinel see so azure sentinel is a cloud native right we all know that and it uses connectors uh, for data injections so here what actually happens is that once a data is injected to a connector 
you know that that how actually the forward logs and uh, various kind of sources uh, which basically include the services and uh, on premise environment and third party solution that is how actually a data injected it been uh, in is been observed uh, in 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 aj sentinel okay so then after we have uh, then after we have uh, sixth or fifth number question is uh, language query and analytics so what what language query or we can say what sort of language query or uh, query languages that uh, azure sentinel basically uses so azure sentinel is uh, we can see see so azure sentinel uses uh, custo query language folks because for analyzing a certain kind of data it uses that then after how can uh, you credit custom query in azure sentinel so custom query are created using kql in log analytics workspace then after three detection and hunting so how does uh, azure sentinel assist in threat detection so basically azure uses what azure sentinel basically uses machine learning and ai to analyze vast amount of data because it starts providing insights into uh, we can say potential threats and uh, suspicious activities then after eight is explain the concept of hunting query uh, in azure sentinel so hunting queries are uh, proactive folks because because it uses a potential threat or we can say security issues that uh, security analyst basically performs to identify anomalies or even we can say patterns in the data this is how actually azure sentinel or the concept of threat hunting queries in azure sentinel basically works with okay it comes under what threat detection and hunting incident management what is incident what is an incident management uh, in azure sentinel because see, an incident is a collection of related alerts that 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 the security analyst basically invest as a part of the threat detection and response. Because see what happens is what how are uh, incident managed and tracked in Azure Sentinel. So incidents are uh, tracked in incident tab. Okay, where analytics where where very very specific analyst can uh, assign and prioritize and manage the investigation procedures. Okay, this is all comes under invest in in incident management right so what is incident in azure sentinel an incident is a collection of related alerts that 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 alert that a security analyst basically invest in, investigate monitor analyze and corresponds to uh, detection which has been observed and response then after automation and playbook <laughs> see automation and playbooks are very two crucial folks because see what happens here is what what role that uh, what role does uh, automation basically plays in azure sentinel is that so azure sentinel basically leverages uh, automation through playbook okay which are uh, sequences of uh, automated and manual action to 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 correspond to and, uh, and 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 also to mitigate the security incidents how can you create a custom playbooks in azure sentinel so custom playbooks are created using azure logic apps because it, it it basically allows the security team to define uh, specific actions okay based on the nature of uh, incidents integration and connectors so which uh, microsoft service uh, does azure sentinel integrates with so as azure sentinel integrates with various microsoft services which basically includes uh, azure service security center then after we have uh, microsoft 365 defender microsoft defender for endpoint okay so these are the three different solutions that is basically been integrated with azure sentinel then after uh, can you integrate azure sentinel with third party solution yes definitely we can do that because see, azure supports basically supports a wide and varied range of uh, connectors for third parties solution and uh, it allows the organization to aggregate data and uh, from from a very diverse solutions or sources log analytics coming to log analytics folks what is the purpose of log analytics in azure sentinel see so here what actually happens is that for log analytics uh, which basically provides a centralized location okay for 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 storing analyzing and also for querying certain log activity or log data okay which is basically been collected from different or various sources how long can you uh, retain data in uh, log analytics the retention period of log analytics is configurable okay allowing organization to retain the data for different duration based upon their uh, certain requirements 
how is azure sentinel price so definitely azure sentinel is priced based on the volume of data in injected for analysis and the number of active users what is the role of uh, azure monitor and azure sentinel price model see here what actually happens is that uh, azure basically azure monitor is a separate okay it is different and separate and it is varied from the services that is basically given by microsoft okay that may contribute to pricing if they use additional monitoring capabilities alongside the Azure Sentinel, they they make they need to pay more. Okay, so this is how actually the role actually works with security and compliance. Coming to security and compliance, how does Microsoft Azure? Uh, we can say how does Azure Sentinel addresses security and uh, compliance requirements? So here, what actually happened is that so Azure Sentinel uh, complies with uh, various industry uh, industry standard and uh, regulation because. It, it basically provides features folks uh, like we can say role based access control rpac for for security right so this is how actually we can uh, govern the the, the, the you know uh, that the, the the role based access control we can say so then after how uh, can 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 you uh, can you use azure sentinel for uh, regulatory compliance reporting yes because azure sentinel provides uh, features okay Again, I repeat, uh, we can say Azure Sentinel uh, provides features and also capabilities okay, to, 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 to uh, assist in meetings and uh, regulatory compliance and requirements. Updates and maintenance. See, updates and maintenance also crucial. So how are updates and maintenance handled in Azure Sentinel? Because, see, updates and maintenance are managed in Microsoft. Okay, because as a part of the Azure services, which basically ensure that the platform is continuously improved and uh, secure. Okay, what, what is the price for applying security updates uh, to uh, Microsoft or Azure Sentinel? Microsoft applies security updates um, to the underlying Azure services because it include it starts including the Azure Sentinel uh, transparently with uh, transparently and without uh, uh, requiring user uh, interventions best practices because here uh, what we can say what are the some of the best practices for uh, optimizing azure sentinel performance so, because best practices basically includes uh, we can say optimizing the queries managing data retention leveraging the thread intelligence and regularly reviewing and updating the detection rules this is how actually the best practices we can take okay in in the form of uh, uh, you can say azure sentinel performance how can an organization optimize the cost this is based on uh, their, their requirements use cases it's very important because see, azure sentinel is beneficial for threat detection investigation and response across various industries including finance healthcare and manufacturing how does microsoft sentinel or azure sentinel contributes to zero trust security model yes it's important folks see because microsoft sentinel enhances zero trust model why because by by continuously monitoring and analyzing the activity and uh, which basically starts helping to identify and respond to any kind of potential threats azure sentinel contributes to contribute uh, azure sentinel uh, community and resources where uh, can 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 user find community okay which basically starts supported and across for uh, for for azure sentinel okay so users can find support and resources on the official uh, sentinel and documentation form about the community channel so this is how actually you can find the resources and training certification basically important so challenges and content uh, and uh, consideration because see what challenges are uh, uh, basically different set of faces when they are implementing this kind of things so challenges may include data source onboarding then after fine-tuning detection rules okay and also ensuring effective collaboration among security teams so this is how actually uh, they can work with and they can uh, face problems at the beginning. How does uh, Microsoft Sentinel, okay, or you can say Azure Sentinel adapts to evolving threat landscape? See, this is very important question because Microsoft Sentinel or Azure Sentinel benefits from continuous updates, okay, and uh, it also improves uh, or you can say an improvements by Microsoft in corrupting advanced analytics and threat intelligence to adapt emerging threats. 
okay so these are the uh, top 30 questions or important questions that is basically been asked based upon the phase wise i have given an idea and i hope uh, you will definitely go through these questions and you will get an idea on how you can give your answer with perfection and uh, I hope uh, you will definitely ask the interview at the beginning of the session once you start start communicating with, uh, with the with the interviewer how actually you are expressing the answers that plays a very crucial and important role. Thank you.